We are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. Happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sailing, Sailing the, the Far, Far Side. <laughs> so this week, we leave Rudder Cut Key to go to Emerald Bay Marina, mm -hmm. which is on Great Exuma. We are running low on water. We don't have a water maker. Um, we've been using quite a bit of diesel. We didn't fill up before we, we left the States. We have a water maker, but we don't use it we haven't, yet. We haven't got it running yet. Little... Uh, foreshadowing foreshadowing there <laughs> but um yeah so we just need to go get some water we need to get go, go get some diesel so we're headed to emerald bay which is one of the last places we can get any of that before hit we head further south mm -hmm. so yeah we had quite <laughs> quite a fun time leaving yeah it was pretty rowdy out there let me tell you it was sporty sporty On a uh, outgoing tide, but it still seems to be a tad swelly out. Holy cow! Oh boy! Watch out! <laughs> All right, there's only a few more. It shouldn't last too long. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, this is like a rodeo. But uh, we're on our way to Georgetown now. Our tanks are empty, empty, so we need to go get some water and a little bit of diesel. Oh! <laughs> our friends not a clue are way up ahead. Seems to be a lot calmer over there. So. Yeah, but them coming through this cut was uh, pretty sporty. Yeah. On a power cat. We're on a this uh, sailing vessel of ours can handle those waves much better. Plus, we yeah. have a stability sail up, so that's gonna keep us from knocking side to side. Yeah, good but thing we got that down. Good thing we got that thing up early, but oh. oh. <laughs> Um, are you okay? <laughs> Holding on for dear life, are you? <laughs> oh my. Woo! Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my God. All right, maybe a little bit longer. Oh.
one's a big one. We had to tack out so that we won't run into land. Um, our direction, we were kind of going too much into the wind. Um, so this will allow us to get a better heading and go faster. to our port side. One, two, three. And we got two boats behind us. Wow, everyone's trying to get ahead of this uh, south blow, southeast blow we're gonna be getting, okay, so. Okay.
we got to the marina, we made sure that we had our fenders out, all our lines out, our bow line, stir line, and spring line, which is in the middle of the boat. It allows the boat to have some movement while at dock. Yeah, because if you grab the bow line first, you're pulling the bow into the dock. You grab the stern line first, it doesn't really work. Yeah, not because <laughs> because your bow is going to be getting to the dock first. So the spring line is an easy medium there. It just helps make docking a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Boat has more control versus the person grabbing the lines. Yes. And then we checked in. Very very mm -hmm. nice marina they have set up there. Fun fact: the fire festival was held. If you look on yeah. the map, if you look left of the marina, Emerald Bay Marina, that's where Fire Festival was. Yeah, right there. So, fun fact there. And then there's Which a lady who runs a restaurant a few miles um, north of where Emerald Bay Marina is. And she made all the sandwiches and everything because as you, if those of you who watched the documentary, there was no food, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So this lady literally pulled together hundreds of sandwiches yeah and she fed everyone just crazy stuff so fun fact there yes so pretty much got to the marina project time we had to clean out the diesel tank we don't get gas we don't get diesel much um so when we do we have to make sure that our tanks are clean and there was probably a good two inches of gunk at the bottom with our diesel tanks we have two diesel tanks and they mm -hmm. both hold 175 gallons each the our port side tank has the the fuel runs through so what happens is the engine will pull some of the diesel out that it needs and then whatever it doesn't use it filters obviously it filters before it goes in the engine and then it comes back into the tank so that fuel that diesel is constantly circulating while our starboard side engine is just kind of like an extra fuel tank so that yeah. diesel does not filter through the engine um what we have to do is we have to set our fuel setting to our our starboard tank for the engine to draw fuel out and then what it does is it'll filter through and it goes into our port tank. So whatever's in the starboard tank, once that leaves that starboard tank, it's not going to get filtered. It's not going to go back there into the starboard tank. Yeah. If that makes any sense to you guys. So that starboard tank was all gunky that that diesel had been sitting in there for a while. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's no circulation. Um it just causes bacteria to grow and just gets all nasty. So what we had to do is we had to filter all the diesel out into our uh into our port tank and then we had to get all the sludge out of the bottom and just make it nice and clean before we put any new diesel sludgy. in there. So that's all the dirt that's coming out of it. And that's what we're trying. That's what we're trying to get out of the filter or fuel through the filter. <sighs> Sludgy. That's a lot of sludge. Yeah, so uh, Sasha's not the only one that gets down and dirty, folks. <laughs> uh, I uh, hop in there and take charge as well sometimes. <laughs> we we have our fair share. Easy 50-50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cleaning the diesel tank. You're doing a great job. See? We have to have the one with the long arms doing the dirty job. Right. Hey. Ooh. Okay. Inspect. Papa inspects our job. Yeah. Give me a chair for a I'd say it looks pretty good. Nice. Much cleaner. How do you spell Saza? Saza? Yeah. S A U Z A. Saza. Tequila. Uh, Sasha, what kind of Saza are we talking about? Not nothing referring to alcohol. <laughs> you need to cut through a bolt, and I don't think tequila does that. <laughs> Papa, how do you spell Saza? S A W. Z-A-W? Z-A-W. Oh my gosh. And then, 
coolest thing ever. It was amazing. Uh, Fangirling we, over here a little bit. Uh, me more than her, but yeah. it's okay. <laughs> uh, so we watched as a boat see Legacy with the famous photographer Paul Nicklin and also ocean conservationist. Ocean and land conservationist. He does a lot with the wolves, with the whales, um, and everything in between. Didn't he go up to Antarctica and yeah, do some he did. cool photo Yeah, he went shoots? up to Antarctica and shot the narwhals, which don't pop up very often. It was pretty cool. Uh, we met the captain while we were checking in, and he invited us to come play pool with the whole crew. It was fun. It was fun. He we had a... Well, we learned some cool, because he had his videographers up there as well. World so they were renowned, world famous. Have done some amazing documentaries, Lots of awards. videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they gave us some cool tips. Freya was a big fan favorite of Paul Nicklin. Yeah, he, uh, he definitely liked the dogs, but Freya was his favorite. Yeah. Then we woke up bright and early. And we got Diesel for the first time in... Good morning, George. We're, it is a monumental hey. moment. We never get fuel. What are we getting? Diesel! Woo! Oh, there. Oh, okay. Um, so, the last time we filled up on diesel fuel was four years ago. Yeah. And the time has come. The tank is clean. It is time to get more diesel fuel. Yes. So, I scooped it out yesterday, so now the tank is clean. We can use both tanks. It's an exciting day. And this is us getting diesel. After four years, it is time. We're getting 100 gallons today, and that should still last us a very long time. We've only used 100 gallons in like the last month and a half, but that's a lot more motoring than we've done. Hopefully, we don't have to time. motor as much, but we'll see. We yeah, finally have some wind, so hopefully, out of the right direction. Borrow the hose from George. We are filling up. So yeah, in the morning we got we filled our water tanks. We got some about 100 gallons of diesel, and then we were ready to skadoodle down to Georgetown. So we had another sporty ride out, mm -hmm. and Sea Legacy led the way. But yeah, we finally, we almost beat them. We almost well we caught up to them we caught slightly, up, but we didn't uh, quite make it past them. Remember, if there's two sailboats, it's always a race. Always a race. behind Sea Legacy. See there, guys? So yeah, favor the starboard side because the waves are going to be coming. Also the wind. Yeah. Okay, is everybody ready to hold on? Yeah. Those rocks on I
We left Emerald Bay and we are on our way to Georgetown. Uh, so the weather's kind of been pretty S-H-I-T-T-Y, but um, it's gonna be about another two hour trip. We just got the main up to kind of stabilize the boat. Sasha's hand steering. Uh, we have hydraulic steering, so it's not the same as if we had regular kind of feel the boat. But um, I'm talking inside because our microphone is broken, so please don't mind the wind blowing in the microphone, but I'll take you outside and show you what the weather's like. Mains up. A big old waves. But we're a lot more stable now. Maybe we'll even catch a fish. <laughs> this is great. We're having so much fun. But yeah, guys, that's it for uh, this Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the sailing footage. This is a, a video of sailing. Sailing, sporty sailing. Sporty sailing. Yeah, let us let us know what you think, guys, all right? If you want to see something else, if you want to know something else, let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. um, we're always looking at those, and we always respond. But... Also, be sure to share with your friends, family. Um, we are on Facebook, Instagram. Patron. We're patron. We have a website as well. Um, and guys, make sure to check out all the links. I do have some gear up there. Those of you asking for mugs and hats. The mugs are there. The hats are coming. <laughs> but the shirts are up. <laughs> so go check out our gear. And we love all the support we get from you guys. But yeah, guys, we love everything that you do for us, and please continue watching, liking, commenting, following along. Uh, this is uh, Captain Natalie and, and Captain Sasha at your service. And uh, yeah, till next week on Sailing, Sailing the, the Far, far Side. side.